okay hi viewers you're welcome once again to my channel yeah it's always unique as always as ever so today i'm with a new guest and uh he's from china and i would like to share some experiences with you all about malaysia so i am fit your ever always active presenter and uh, here is my guest so please can you introduce yourself thank you so much hello everyone i'm alexander from china I'm currently doing my PhD in Educational Psychology in University of Malaya. Uh, I like Malaysia. Um, I have many friends in Malaysia. Oh, oh, thank you here, so much. Yeah. Thank you so much. So you're welcome, uh, Mr. Alexandra from China. So uh, the first question I'd like to ask you, Mr. Alexandra, is I want you to tell us uh, how did you know about Malaysia? Um, the first time I know Malaysia is, um, you know, it's, it's about um, five years ago. Uh, from the university publication oh, okay. and, and you know I also know some debate between China <laughs> and Malaysia it's very uh, famous debate mm. from a very famous university uh, Wuhan University in China mm -hmm. the debate between Wuhan University in China and the University of Malaya oh. so at that time I got to know the University of Malaya mm. this is very prestigious university so you yeah. agree that the University of Malaya is a prestigious university? Yes, one of the best universities in, in the world. Okay, oh, that's yeah. very nice. So, uh, when you came to Malaysia, that was what year? When did you come to Malaysia? Mm, it's around 2014. 2014, wow. So you have been here for like, um, let's say... It's around five years. Five years. Oh. Yeah. So you are doing... Uh, uh, to be frank, I did my f uh, master degree also in University of Malaya in Malaysia. Oh. At that time, I was doing my master of English as a second language. Okay. And then, you know, around two years ago, I start and um, continued to do my second uh, degree, uh, my PhD mm. uh, in educational psychology, also in University of Malaya. Yeah. Okay, that's very nice. Okay, so uh, people are watching you all over the world. Uh, right now, so I would like you to share your specific experiences. I mean, experiences you have had with people living here in Malaysia. I know it for. I mean, you have been here for up to five years now, so you have had a lot of experiences with Malaysians. Mm. Students. What can you say? Um, what can I say? I feel that um, no matter whether the people friend from international or local people, they are very friendly. Whenever um, I'm walking on the street, um, I cannot find my direction, and they are willing to offer some help. But, and you know, another point is that when I run on the street, I uh, see the other people going, going opposite my direction. They oh. show me a smile, very, <laughs> s very sweet smile. <laughs> yeah. So, so the point here that the people in Malaysia here they have this kind of uh, gesture of smiling, right? Yes, they, they this can you show that, you, you know, it can, it can show that they have very high happiness index. Wow, that's, that's so great. I'm happy yeah. to hear this. I believe they are also happy yeah. to hear this. So there's one particular issue that uh, some foreigners usually have. So I want to find out from you, what can you say of the language uh, barrier? I mean, um, mm. Mal like um, Malay and all that. Can you speak Malay? Can you speak Malay? Uh, you know, for our program, we need to learn Malay language. It's a oh. uh, it's, it's foundation. foundation. It's foundation oh. level. Mm -hmm. But you know, because my major is English language, I oh. use English normally. So I when I passed the language course, when I passed the, the certificate, I have for forgot a lot about <laughs> Malay language. Okay, so um, now if I ask you, uh, yeah, uh, Apa Just. Uh, uh, Kababai, uh, <laughs> Terima Kasih, something like that. Terima Kasih is the number to thank you, thank you, Terima Kasih. Yeah. Okay, that's, that's mm. very good. Yeah, so viewers, sorry, you are lost, right? So when we say Apakaba in, in Malay, it means uh, how are you? And if you said uh, Kaba, uh, Kababai, Kababai means, means uh, what? Um, Apakaba is how are you, and Kababai is uh, uh, I'm fine. I'm fine, <laughs> okay. Thank you. And so Terima Kasih is thank, thank you. Thank yeah. you. Okay, okay. So how has your research journey been and what's your current stage? Uh, you mean my research? Yeah, um, yes. Right what now, doing? Um, I'm doing my uh, education psychology, psychology okay. um, especially in uh, personality okay. and learning style and English language proficiency, something like that. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's very nice. Okay, English language proficiency. Yeah. Okay, that's very beautiful. Mm. Okay, so uh, how friendly is your supervisors? 
Yes, my uh, to tell you the truth that my supervisor is very friendly and wow. responsible. Um, she's very serious, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. she just uh, take care of me very well. Very much, just like and, a mother. And not only me, I think everybody just uh, feel that my supervisor is a good it's person. Good. Wow, wow, wow. Okay, that's, that's very nice. Yeah. So what can you say about the educational system here? Like, I mean, um, you are from China, and everybody knows that China is, is mm. very good. What can you say about the educational system? Here? The educational system in Malaysia is uh, quite followed. Uh, the English, the British educational British system. Um, normally, people uh, come here to study a uh, degree, and then they can continue their study in uh, America and Britain. Okay. So here, the system can make make them more familiar with the British system, mm. and they further their study in another country. Mm. It's very easy for them. Okay. That's, that's, that's very interesting to know. Yeah. That's very interesting to know. So they follow the British standard. And yeah. Uh, this is this is so good. Okay, so I would like to ask you uh, to tell us more specifically about UM, that's University Malaya. Mm -hmm. Since you are studying in University Malaya, uh, what can you say about UM? Just share mm. some brief insights. I feel that the University of Malaya is a quite good research university. Uh, they are offered, you know, some uh, database okay. to do the research, and they are also offered a lot of uh, free course, free you course. know, especially in the library, mm. to uh, tell us how to do the research. Okay. Uh, there are many good lectures in the faculties, in the institutions, in university. And another thing that there are a lot of public lectures, public lectures. offered by this university, which I uh, really appreciate. Mm. So people basically come from maybe UK. I've seen um, professors coming from UK. I've seen people from uh, mostly from the international people international. from the Middle East okay. and from uh, Asia, Asian countries, mm. something like uh, China, and Japan, and South Korea. Okay. Um, some exchange students from South Korea and Japan, and also from Thailand, from Indonesia. Indonesia. Okay. Mm. Many of them are here. Uh, yes, yeah. Yeah, they, they, were, uh, they are doing either exchange program or the postgraduate program. Oh, that's, that's beautiful. Yeah. So apart from your PhD program here, sir, uh, what other activities do you usually uh, get around with apart from your PhD program? What are the other activities? Do you, are you a sports person? Do you like sports? Uh, yes. Uh, be beside my study, I also do some sports. Uh, such as uh, table tennis. Table tennis, wow. Yeah, I do a lot of table tennis okay. and then I like walking. Walking. Because walking can release my pressure. Mm. Um, and then I sometimes I play basketball, oh, basketball. by myself <laughs> <laughs> because I don't play very well. Oh, you play very well. At least you are. I want to practice. Up. I want to pra practice oh. by myself. Oh, that's good. So, can you teach me? Because I, I, want, to, I want to know how you to play basketball. You mean basketball? Basketball. Mm. basketball. Uh, okay, basketball is the one kind of jump. Right? Yes, yeah. So I'm tall, I'm tall enough. So can you teach me how to play basketball? Um, can we maybe I can agree? only show you how can I... Uh, throw the ball. Yeah. Oh, okay. Normally, I, I chop the three points. Three points? Yeah. Wow. Then you are the highest tall. The highest record is that within 70 minutes, I can get in oh. 12, uh, 12 single... 12 singles? So single three points. Three points? Yeah. Okay. So I think I will come and learn from you. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So uh, were you sponsored for your PhD? Uh, actually, because I have worked before, oh. I'm self-sponsored. Yes, and at the same time, you, you know, University of Malaya cannot offer the scholarship. Yeah. Okay. So they don't give scholarship to everybody? Or uh, this normally, scholarship especially I think normally for the uh, art and social science, they don't offer. Uh, social science. They don't offer scholarship. Okay, but basically there will still be other ways of funding, right? Like mm. like a research assistant and other. Yes, other normally ways. they have a position of research assistant. Research assistant. Okay, so one can apply and still get that, probably if you have a very good. Um, but normally it's for the natural science. Natural science. Natural science, they have natural more science. scholarship. Oh, okay. Thank you so much. So, what's your plan after PhD? After PhD, maybe I also want to work here. Wow. Uh, it depends on the job they, they offered. Uh, I either want also want to go back to China or stay here. Okay, so you make your choice, right? Yes. 
Oh. It depends on the future plan. Future plan. Okay. So, do you have your f any of your family members staying here in Malaysia? Uh, no, or I'm alone here. In China. Yeah. Okay, you are alone for now. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. So, what are your advices for aspiring students who wish to come to study in Malaysia, like in general? Mm. We know there are a lot of good universities. Uh, there is one point because you know normally the lecturers here, lecturers here, they have some accent. Uh, I think Malaysia is quite cheap. Okay. Um. At the same time, the life pace is slow. Okay. Uh, it's not so stressful. This okay. is a very good point. Okay. Mm. okay. So you advise people to come? Yeah. People can come. Especially and for the people from the uh, very ordinary uh, economic status kind of, uh, family. Family state. Yeah. This is a good place for them. Yeah. Okay. So what of the, uh, the facilities? Yeah, we know that, okay, life here, you can easily I mean, move on with life with little money. But what about mm. the facilities? Do you think that they have good structures, good educational facilities? Uh, I think I'm, I may not know something about other university, but the facilities in yeah. University of Malaya is, is quite good. Okay, okay. As they can see now, mm. viewers, this is I'm this satisfied is with the library. facilities in library. Okay. Just only the, the it's a little bit cold. <laughs> a little bit cold. The temperature okay. is a little bit cold. AC, AC yeah. so much, right? Uh, because they, they care for the books. The books need a very low temperature. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So you need to bring a coat. Okay, to cover yourself very well. Yeah. Okay. So uh, have you had any African friends before? Um, African African country. Not so many. Not so many. But you I are the African. you are the first one maybe. I'm the first one. Wow. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay, so I, that maybe you don't know much about Africans, right? But what can you say about um, the few you have met? But I have some relatives who ha yeah. who has been to uh, Nigeria, especially Nigeria, Nigeria to wow, work. That's my country. To work, to they work. feel that the people there are very friendly. Very friendly. Wow. So very viewers, polite. Very polite. Very polite. Yeah. Wow. Okay. So viewers, you're hearing? Yeah. We Africans were very friendly. <laughs> yeah. Okay. That's 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 very beautiful. So yeah, there's still one more question I want to ask you about uh, the weather. The weather here. The weather here in Malaysia. What can you say about it? Because some people, when I was coming here, I was thinking that ah, it's a very, you know, cold place. I wanted to come with jacket and all that. But uh, <laughs> normally, it's because it's a tropic zone. It's tropic zone. Yeah, tropic Malaysia zone. is a tropical, uh, beautiful country. But yeah. um, the weather, we still can bear it. We can bear the weather because in the afternoon, when whenever it is very hot, mm. it will rain. Rain very, very funny, heavily. Very funny weather, right? Uh, it will rain heavily, and after rain, it will become cool again. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so you can get adjusted to the weather. Mm. Okay, that's 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 very nice. Okay, so uh, finally, can you just uh, tell us your thoughts? I mean, about the whole experiences and everything you have here in Malaysia, just um, recap. You mean conclusion? Yes, conclusion. Um, and what do you say to my viewers out there? Maybe some of them want to come here to study or to do something, you know, maybe walk or stuff like that. So what can you just shout out to them? Um, I feel, normally I feel very satisfied with my life in Malaysia. Okay. Also, uh, I want to, I, I can introduce some friends also come okay. to Malaysia. Okay. Uh, I, I wish uh, your good luck in Malaysia. Thank you so much. So yeah. It's been a very nice time interviewing you. There yeah. was one question I forgot to ask. Unfortunately, <laughs> I already finished the video, but I will ask you this question about the food. Uh, the food... Um, you are from China, so I know China uh, is no, very good with the food. Uh, you know, f talking about food, they have Malay food, they have Indian food, they have Chinese food. Uh, normally in our dormitory, we will eat the Malay food, um, just a little bit spicy, and some fried food. Oh. But if you, you cannot eat the Malay food, you can go outside to try the Chinese, Chinese food. food. Okay. Yes, nearby. Okay. Yeah. So you don't have any problem with this? And the food I already so get adjusted, uh, get ac food? accustomed to the food. Okay. Yeah. What about the, the price of the food? Is it okay? The price is very uh, low price. Very low price. It's very Compared cheap. Compared to other other foreign countries, right? Yeah, it's very pr cheap. Okay. So as a student, you can survive? Yes. Okay. Thank you so much once again. It's okay. nice to have you in the channel. This is uh, Unique Reviews and Experiences Malaysia. So mm. I hope you have a very nice time. 
in your PhD program. Thank you. And uh, I hope uh, we can interview you some other times. Thank, thank you, you very, very much. much. Thank you yeah, very thank much. You. So viewers all over the world, we have come to the end of this video. Uh, my friend here is telling you to please like, am I right? They should share this video and you subscribe, right? To yeah. my channel so that we can grow more. Now we're already getting closer to 1,000 subscribers. Thank you very much for all of you that have been supporting this channel. I wish you the best. Much love. Mm -hmm. I see you in my next video. God bless you. Okay, bye-bye. Bye. Thank you. Bye.